left hand. That is so dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Yeah, the old timers would say he's a real sharp shooter. That's exactly what he's doing. He's not missing much. Nice work with the left hand. And a right hand lands flush. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Oh, what an exchange! A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. left hand. That's exactly what it should be doing, that left hand. By Lane, I can imagine throughout your career you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, very, very frustrated because you start to wonder that doesn't want to win the fight. That's what you start to to move on the outside, but if you're coming forward, you need a jab, and there's proof of it. Scored well up top. Lane showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. A little set up punch, one, two, two jabs for the body. Lane's 
being so very effective, punching in combination. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Maybe even an A-plus show, that plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A-plus. No, he goes to the gut with the right hand. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. towards the bell, last 10 seconds of the sixth. Comes right back with a shot of his own. At this stage of a fight, Teddy, these very early moments, how much in your training career will you stress to a guy to try to go to the body? Very much, because it sets up things later on, and it takes away... Side, bouncing around, staying away, you understand the use of the jab. But when you're coming forward, you have to come forward with a cover. And that jab, that's the cover. He missed with that headshot. Fire, well done by Raging Bull. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good plus shot upstairs. Four minutes round here. Good left hand able to land. Directly, it's their job to protect the fight. outside here's one for you now he says right back with the left hand good plus shot upstairs he tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect a well placed left hand up top And now the right hand lands because of the work done by the jab. Long's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. And this could cost him the night. You never know what effect it can have, but there's a cut above the eye. Big tag by a right hand. Big shot there. He goes down in the later stages of this round. He's going to try to survive it.
come to the end of round number two. You know, Teddy, I'm looking at that cut as he's in the corner now, and it doesn't look good at all. Do you think he thinks he has to go out the left? Table to land with the right. Will you look at this? Look at this pace that these two are fighting at so early in the fight. Teddy, each man must have been determined to think they can get the other one out of here early. Yeah, I want to see who blinks first, though. That's what's interesting to me. Who changes? They can't both keep this up. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Look like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. And now he brings the left. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. Foreman's clearly affected by that. He took a shot, now he gives a left. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Commits to the straight right. something different here. I mean, I know he's committed to being a counterpuncher, but right now he's giving rounds away. Yeah, he is, because he's waiting for things to happen that are not happening. You know, he's he's laying back, he's waiting for the guy to walk in. See, to be a good counterpuncher, an offensive counterpuncher, the guy has to come close to you, but his opponent's staying at a distance. He's not giving him anything to counter. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. That is a sharp uppercut by Vaughn. We've seen it many times before, and maybe this will be the time for him. When you realize just how bad a cut is, where it puts you in that desperation mode, that instant offense mode, that there's a certain urgency that has to be had. You know, it's funny you say that because sometimes fighters need a little fight. He is not in good shape. He could be out. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. like a piece of Velcro against his opponent recently here. It seems like he's pushing more after that knockdown. Yeah, that's exactly what he has to do right now. Now he has to be able to just get past this little bit. It's kind of like being in a bad rapids. You know, you're going down those waterfalls. You better be in a canoe. You better be in something. This is his canoe. This is his raft. You can see blood from that mouth. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. So punch after punch, he keeps taking punishment. Starting to wonder here, Teddy, how much more will he be able to take? Punch, isn't he? Yeah, well, first of all, 
Why is he? Because he knows if he walks in, he's gonna get caught. Wow! He got demolished like that was a wrecking ball. One punch power ends the evening. You gotta love that. <laughs> Just a matter of time now, maybe a punch or two away from going down. Teddy, what's he got to do? Well, he's got to grab. He's got to find a way to stop the offense. And to clutch and grab, usually that's one way. And that is, how do you deal with seeing your own blood and knowing that you have incurred some serious damage? Look at that cut around the eye. So for a fighter to be able to move to the top, he's got to be tested in a lot of areas. Sometimes the test comes when he's hurt. He's hit on the chin. He dropped for the first time. Sometimes the test comes when you drop the other guy and he gets up and he comes at you. And sometimes the test comes to the